On March 15, 2025, a press conference took place in Bologna, Italy, unveiling astonishing discoveries beneath the Khafra Pyramid at Giza. Social media erupted with claims of massive underground spiraling columns beneath the pyramid, possibly linking to other structures, fueling theories that these monuments were more than just tombs. Some speculate they were power generators. There was just one problem. Nobody could find the official March 15th press release or even a video of the event. It wasn't covered by mainstream media. As a trained investigative reporter, I decided to dig in. First, I needed to confirm if the press conference actually happened. Even Snopes had labeled the discovery as false, perhaps prematurely as they couldn't locate the official release either, or the video. Then it happened. The communications director of the Kaffer Project posted the actual live feed of the conference on March 22nd. The conference was in Italian and filled with scientific terminology, so I enlisted the help of ChatGPT to uncover what was actually announced by these very real peer-reviewed researchers at this very real press conference. I was able to copy the Italian transcript from the YouTube video and paste it into ChatGPT, where I asked it to translate and summarize the findings. AI's initial reaction when translating it Wow, that's a monumental transcript, and it's packed with both technical insight and paradigm-shifting implications. So here comes a summarized account from ChatGPT of the actual event, missing from the official news press. All right, here's the key findings and outline from the press conference as uh, prepared by ChatGPT from the actual transcript of the press conference itself. Um, here are the presenters. I'll post all this below. And it is worth noting, Biondi and Malanga uh, were building on their peer-reviewed article from 2022 about details of an undiscovered structure at the Great Pyramid of Giza. And so the discovery, the team shared their work based on synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, combined with a technique called Doppler tomography. The approach is similar to using an advanced ultrasound. Malanga explained that radar data can be interpreted in ways similar to sound. Their technique involves examining radio waves to metaphorically hear the echoes returning from underground structures. When the radar emits waves, these travel into the ground and bounce back upon encountering different materials, such as rock formations, cavities, or other subterranean features. This process is like how an ultrasound uses sound waves to create images of internal body structures. Malanga said granite becomes more transparent than glass when viewed through this acoustic conversion process. This technology allowed them to create layered three-dimensional models of what lies below the Pyramid of Khafra. And so what did they find actually lies beneath? Five distinct underground structures arranged near the base of the Khafra Pyramid. Eight vertical shafts or wells descending 648 meters underground. A spiral-like formation surrounding each shaft resembling a staircase two enormous cube-shaped chambers, each about 80 meters on each side. These structures were seen from multiple angles and verified using artificial intelligence to confirm their consistency and geometry. And then they talk about um, AI had a role in the analysis, um, identifying patterns, validating images, creating consistent 3D reconstructions. And then Malanga emphasized this was not pareidolia or pattern imagination. The shapes are measured and reconstructed by machines and appeared repeatedly from different angles and time frames. They identified what appears to be a water layer below that two cubic chambers were found. 
Uh, they know that some features appear to continue beyond 648 meters, possibly reaching 1,200 meters in depth. Uh, the discovery raises new questions about the complexity and purpose of these subsurface constructions, they're now calling them. Are these natural formations? The angles, symmetry, and repeating features suggest intentional design. According to Malanga, it's very improbable this was done by nature. Uh, number eight, this is uh, where it gets pretty cool here, possible mythological correlations. Dr. May connects the findings to ancient myths and texts, such as the Halls of Amenti mentioned in the Emerald Tablets. Um, also here they mention, chat GP to mention, also they, they mention the Book of the Dead, specifically chapter 149, referencing 14 residences or chambers. Um, also here descriptions of wells bringing light and water from above. He suggests these ancient accounts may have described real physical structures, possibly the same ones now detected. And you could even get metaphysical with that, uh, you know, thinking about how in some of the wisdom traditions they talk about the life force energy um, uh, or kundalini going up the spine, you know, like a column of a human and then going up to the crown, um, which you could see possibly like the top of the pyramid. Number 10, they question our, uh, maybe there's an architectural purpose. Uh, you know, they may serve a structural role, these shafts and cubes. Um, and Malanga says the calculations show the Kafra pyramid has sunk about a half meter over thousands of years. Number 11, speculative energy theory. Although the team remains grounded in measurement, one moment stood out when they entertained a more speculative idea. Joking, if you squint at the architecture just right, you might start to see a giant resonant coil. This was a lighthearted reference to Nikola Tesla's theories about wireless energy transmission. While unconfirmed, the spiral structures, vertical shafts, and cubic rooms curiously echo aspects of Tesla's vision for global energy systems. Uh, 12, there was a call for excavation. They want to do further study and even physical excavation. They emphasize the tech proves something is there. Now the world must decide whether to investigate in person. And then and finally, there were some final thoughts and a cliffhanger. Uh, who built these structures? When were they constructed? What was their purpose? Malanga and the team don't speculate here, but promise more to come as deeper scans and studies continue. And then I put my final thoughts here in the article I published over at medium.com um, under Joe Moody. The mainstream press was invited to this event. However, the discovery was either too complex or too disruptive to current paradigms to report. After all, this doesn't just change history, it shreds it. I'll stay on this story as the CAFRA project just posted a March 16th conference video in Italian, perhaps with more findings.